Hey, welcome back to this new Pizza Ray tutorial. Today I want to show you which 10 free Blender plugins every beginner should use. Let's jump right in. Let's search here for stored views and enable this plugin. Yeah, we can go now into the side menu by pressing N, open here the stored views and press initialize. When we are want to store a view from our camera, which is this one here, we can save the current view. And now when we are enabling a new camera or bring here a new camera inside and let's uh, switch to this one and maybe let's change here the view, something like this. And we can now say save current again. So now when we are pressing here these buttons, we can easily switch between and those cameras which is really cool if you want to render a scene on different camera angles we can change uh, to pov and what this is doing is when you're in uh, the editor here um, you can save here your views as well so when we're pressing save current pov and now we want to go to this view here we can save as well and now when we are pressing this we can switch here between these two views yeah maybe you already know uh, this ant landscape plugin from my tutorials to bring this one in you can go here to mesh and landscape maybe let's zoom a little bit in and here in this side menu you can uh, go here to the operator presets and search here for stuff which you like maybe a volcano um, something like that and when you want to um, bring this a little bit more here into a normal size maybe you need another landscape but this one should be here uh, yeah, a rock so you have here some quick assets to bring this into your scene. Maybe this one helps you to create um, your scenes a little bit faster. Okay, this one is very interesting when you want to <laughs> make a quick turnaround animation of some object or stuff like that. So let's enable the turnaround camera. And let's go here to the side menu by pressing N and we want to go to animate and see we have here a little menu for the turnaround camera and to turn around uh, we have to select here our hero which is the cube. If you have another object in your scene so uh, maybe the other cube here you can see that uh, it switched here it switches <laughs> the selection but we want to use here this center one now we can set up here the start and end frame and we want to go with the z value of one and we don't need a back and forward because we want to create a perfect loop so let's hit turn around and we can see that the keyframes are easing in and easing out we can go here into the cube and select the rotation target and when we're seeing here the keyframes Press A to select all, right click and linear. Now we are having a seamless loop. Yeah, this one image as import image as planes is very useful as well. Maybe you saw this on my tutorials to bring stuff in. Let's go to image and image as planes. Now we can select here an image which we want to import. Keep in mind that when you don't want to have a, yeah, a semi-transparent uh, stuff here, you have to go here in the right blend mode here to opaque and the shadow mode to opaque as well. And turn off the use alpha here if your image has no alpha. Okay, let's hit uh, import image. And when we go now into the rendering or into the material preview, we can see that our image as plane is already imported and we can go ahead now and use this for our scene.
this one is yeah <laughs> is uh, really surprising because i didn't know that this one exists um it's the collection manager and as you can see i already have this enabled here in the upper right corner and what you want what you can do now is as you can see we always have here some collections and we can easily bring we're pressing on this x here a new collection into our scene maybe we want to add some new stuff to our scene um, maybe here some stuff and we can bring these stuff here easily into the collections and what we can do now is enable or disable these collections really easy and um, so we have quick control over stuff maybe you have a little bit more stuff here in your scene which is some lights and uh, you want to <laughs> uh, yeah work uh, without lights or when you have some lights in your street and in your buildings and stuff like that you can easily separate this stuff here um, selecting and bring a new collection bring this here inside maybe this one is lights now and yeah hide them here are some shortcuts where you can move your object to the slots and stuff like that. Um, I think this one is a really useful uh, tool for everyone, even if you are a beginner or if you are an expert uh, in Blender, I really recommend this one. The copy attributes menu is cool as well. Okay, we have here, maybe let's say we have two objects and you want to copy um, an attribute from one object to another. And to do this, we can do this now really easy by selecting, um, yeah, maybe this one is rotated and scaled. And the normal way would be now to copy and paste the rotation and uh, do this um, by hand. What we easily can do now is select the target object and after that the source object press ctrl and c and let's copy the rotation and the object or all the objects will get the same attribute maybe let's press ctrl c again and we want to copy the scale or uh, maybe let's say um, this one has an array modifier and it's uh, yeah. copied here this stuff down target object source object copy and copy modifiers that's the easy way to copy and paste the stuff to another object yeah this one is very useful when you want to have a little bit more interesting sky so let's enable this dynamic sky and we can find this one here in the side menu under create and dynamic sky let's press create now we have to go here into the world settings and uh, choose dynamic one now we can see that the menu has more options now let's go to rendering and change this to gpu compute here maybe let's go here with a plane Scale this one a little bit up. Yeah, that is now our dynamic sky. Maybe let's change this now here to something bluish. And I want to turn the horizon color in here to something pinkish. And the cloud color as well. Maybe do something like this and turn the brightness a little bit down. And to see what's going on, let's uh, delete here the light. So we can change here the cloud opacity. Or the density as you like maybe do something like this and the sun control uh, should match here a little bit more to our <laughs> scene here maybe do something bluish or pinkish something like that with this sphere here we can set the position where the sun should uh, be here in our scene and as i said if you want to have a little bit more interesting sky go and play with this one here Here's another one which is the tree lighting when you want to enable this one you have to select your 
object where you want to put the lights around. Maybe let's uh, use here this cube. Let's press Shift and A and go to light and add here a three point lights. Now we're having here this menu and can play around here with the distance and the height. We have the option to increase here the base energy of our lights. Set here the positions of the left, right and back angle where we want to have uh, this one and change here the light type uh, as well. And when we are uh, done with it, this one, we can go here into the dry lamp back, um, back fill and key to change here the colors or when we want to bring in more, <laughs> more color here or more power into uh, these things we can easily do this here by increasing the stuff that's a quick form when you want to enable here some quick lights yeah and here's another one uh, which is uh, really useful the material utilities and uh, maybe let's say we want to have here a red material let's change this one to something reddish and uh, do the same thing and this is the blue one let's create another one which is yeah and the <laughs> old school way or the uh, normal way would be go here into this one and change the materials but when you're maybe let's say you're in the layout mode and you want to do this really quick select our object press shift and q and we have these material utilities menu now what we can do now is go to search and as we can see in the list here are all of our materials now let's press ok and now we can press shift and q again and now we have the options for our materials here so when we are going to material preview and press shift q and maybe let's we want to change this to red orange or let's duplicate this one and so we can easily change here some materials without disturbing here our flow in our uh, 3d uh, perspective or <laughs> work mode here yeah, and the last one uh, is very interesting for uh, the christmas uh, holidays so when we're searching here for snow we can enable here the real snow uh, plugin and let's say we are having here object uh, which is here something like this we want to add here now some snow and we can see that we are already having here this real snow thing we can set here the coverage of the snow and the height maybe let's go here 2.5 and add now a snow and then we are having here these cool uh, snow stuff here on our object and when we are going to shading we can already see maybe let's go here into rendering and as we can see here now we're having here in the shading a cool um snowy uh, snow shader on this one which will work in ev or in cycles as well is there a plugin which I missed? Of course. But now you can write your favorite plugin into the comments so everyone else can benefit from it as well. Thank you so much and bye.